the first thing you want to do is inventory what you know. What are you given in the problem? And in this particular problem, it's not much. You're given five of the six sides. It's not enough to do side, side, side. You're not directly given any angles, but you are given enough information to figure out whether or not you should even bother with angles, because if you can't get a common ratio from the corresponding sides, there's nowhere to go. So taking a look at these sides, this is the larger of the two sides, and this is the larger of these two sides. Okay. So what you want to do is create that ratio, MV to VT, and we have that number here is 14, and we have VT is 49, and if we divide top and bottom by 7, we'll get 2 over 7, and that's the ratio. And we use this piece of information here and this piece of information here to get it. The other corresponding sides we have are this one and this one, the smaller and the smaller. We have LV over VU, and that's equal to 8 over 28. I can divide top and bottom by 4. I'll get 2 over 7. They have the same proportion, right, here. And here has the same proportion as here and here, but side side isn't enough. If it turns out that the angle created by those two sides is congruent in each of the two triangles, here and here, then we'll have side angle side. So the angle MVL is congruent to the angle TVU because vertical angles are always congruent. Now that's not connected to any of the other information that we have on the flow chart because it really is, it stands on its own. But once you get to this part, we can now take these three pieces of information to create a similarity statement for the two triangles. Triangle MVL is similar to triangle TVU, and that's because of side angle side similarity. That's what you should be able to do at this point. And in fact, if I were to now ask you to continue this proof and find that side length, you should be able to do it. Because what do we know from this? We know that ML over TU has to equal 2 over 7, because that's part of the definition of similar triangles. And I know that ML is equal to 5. So I can actually create this here. ML is 5, this is x, this is 2, this is 7, and x, x will be equal to 35 over 2, using a little bit of algebra. Yeah? So can you do it like, um, if you start off by finding x first and then doing like side, 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 side work? You can't find x first because you can only use proportions to find the missing side after you know the triangles are similar. You don't know that the, that the side lengths are going to be proportional until you either are told that the triangles are similar or you prove that they are. Once you prove that they are, then you can use that fact to find what you want.